After discussing his divorce from Malak Compton in a recent comedy special, Chris Rock has happily moved on, and so has his ex-wife. Here's who they're both dating now and how their romance fell apart. Chris Rock met his wife-to-be, Malak Compton, in an unconventional way. As he shared in a 2007 interview with Collider, he and some friends decided to swing by the 1994 Essence Awards after a Knicks game, even though they weren't formally invited to the event. It was there that he eventually got to talking with Compton. Rock recalled, "...she was working in publicity, so she actually came up to me and said, "'Can you take some pictures with so-and-so?' And I was like, "'Hey, I'll do whatever you want.'" The two hit it off after meeting for the first time and started dating shortly after. Rock and Compton maintained a long-distance relationship due the fact that they worked on opposite sides of the country. At the time, she worked for UNICEF. Rock, on the other hand, was working on his comedy career on the East Coast, but the two continued to pursue the relationship further. In November 1996, Rock and Compton married. Throughout his comedy career, Chris Rock has been fairly candid when it comes to his feelings about marriage. Take his 1996 comedy special Bring the Pain, for example, where he offered up his take on the O.J. Simpson murder trial and the allegations against the former football star. Citing Simpson's alimony payments to his ex-wife and mortgage payments on the house she lived in, Rock joked, "...I'm not saying he should have killed her, but I understand." And in the 2004 special Never Scared, Rock compared marriage to being worse than prison, citing Nelson Mandela's divorce after 27 years incarcerated. After 27 years of torture, spent six months with his wife and said, I can't take that sh no more. Rock's open criticism of marriage in his comedy shows and sketches painted a picture that he was against the formal union altogether, despite being married for years. You never go meet the perfect person. It's never gonna happen for you, okay? In 2007, Chris Rock co-wrote, produced, and directed I Think I Love My Wife, a remake of the 1972 film Chloe in the Afternoon. The film centers around main character Richard Cooper, played by Rock, who has a perfect life on paper. He is successful at work, has a beautiful wife and children, but lives unhappily because he is not sexually satisfied in the marriage. When Cooper's old friend Nikki, played by Kerry Washington, reconnects with him, he finds himself torn between giving into his temptations or remaining loyal to his wife. Objectively, the movie just seems like another commentary on the monotony of marriage, but for Rock, it was was a bit more personal. The actor-comedian spoke with Collider in 2007 about what drew his character to Nikki rather than his on-screen wife, saying, "...she's a breath of fresh air. She's new. We all want new. We scour the earth for new. But that is what marriage is. Anything that's supposed to be forever, you're going to get bored with it." Turns out, Rock was indeed unhappy in his own marriage, and would later admit that he sought excitement outside of matrimony. Chris Rock, while open about his views on marriage and his comedy sketches, was much more private about the workings of his actual relationship with longtime spouse Malak Compton Rock. By 2018, however, the comedian was much more vulnerable and candid about his role in their relationship ending and his wrongdoings. In his Netflix special Chris Rock – Tambourine, the comic took responsibility for causing his marriage to fall apart. Discussing his extramarital affairs, Rock noted the ways that infidelity can destroy a relationship, telling the crowd, "...when guys cheat, it's like we want something new. But then you know what happens? Your woman finds out, and now she's new. She is never the same again. So now you have new, but you had a bad new." Rolling Stone reported in Rock's 2017 cover story that in a show at New York City's Comedy Cellar, the comedian mentioned having affairs with three different women. Dude, I, I was not, like, a good husband. Though the identities of the women have not been confirmed, there's been plenty of speculation about who Rock cheated with. Page Six, for example, reported that a source claimed he had a fling with fellow I Think I Love My Wife co-star Kerry Washington. Without confirmation, it's all hearsay, and neither party has commented on the rumor. On top of not staying faithful during his marriage, Chris Rock shared that he was addicted to porn while married to his wife. The comedian opened up about his addiction in the 2018 comedy special Tambourine. In the special, Rock told the audience that there was a point for him when watching porn became a top priority. He shared that that dependence made him more desensitized to real-life sexual experiences. He confessed, "...you have a hard time with eye contact and verbal cues. What happens when you watch too much porn is you get desensitized. When you start watching porn, any porn will do. Ah, oh, they're naked. Woohoo! Then later on, you're all messed up." Rock also concluded, that at the time of the special's recording, he was doing a lot better. In a 2014 chat with Neil Brennan for The Approval Matrix, Rock pointed out the difficulty of dealing with the porn addiction in the modern era. If you have a phone, you basically are walking around with a porn machine. In his specials and interviews, Rock has been incredibly transparent about his mental health journey in recent years. In a 2020 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he shared that he goes to therapy seven hours a week to unpack the ups and downs of his life. 
Throughout Chris Rock and Malak Compton Rock's marriage, rumors about the state of their relationship bubbled up more than once. In November 2006, TMZ reported that Rock filed for divorce. At the time, his representation offered no comment. Coincidentally, these specific rumors were circulating right around when Rock was filming I Think I Love My Wife. As previously noted, the Gossip Mill claimed that he and co-star Kerry Washington had a behind-the-scenes thing. Rock and Compton Rock did not divorce that year or the following year. In fact, the couple set the record straight and issued a statement to People in March 2007 to clear up any confusion. The statement read in part, Though we have tried in the past to take the high road and not comment on the tabloid media, we find it necessary to express on record how unfortunate it is that the Daily News specifically and other tabloid outlets have chosen to print untrue rumors and lies about our marriage. Chris Rock and Malak Compton Rock remained together for another seven years after the initial divorce rumors started making the media rounds in 2007. By December 2014, the couple's divorce was officially underway. Rock was the one to file, but the decision to separate was mutual. In a statement to People, Compton Rock said, "...after much contemplation and 19 years of marriage, Chris and I have decided to go our separate ways. While recognizing that this is a significant change, my children remain at the center of my life, and their well-being is my top priority." The divorce was anything but amicable and simple, however. As the two were working out the divorce, Rock accused his wife of not allowing him to see their two daughters. In documents obtained by People, Rock's rep claimed, "...Compton Rock has repeatedly refused to permit him normal and usual access to the children, and has acted in a manner detrimental to the children's best interests." Compton Rock's attorney issued a statement in response and denied Rock's claims. The two settled their custody dispute and agreed on sharing custody of their children. As the couple's divorce was unfolding, Page Six reported that Malak Compton Rock was seeking her fair share of Chris Rock's nearly $70 million fortune and assets. According to the outlet, the court filing stated that Compton Rock wanted enough money to maintain the same standard of living she experienced with Rock. The divorce was finalized in 2016, but the details of the agreement, including a monetary settlement, were never published. That said, Rock did reveal that it was costly for him to divorce in a 2021 interview on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. In discussing the news of comedian John Mulaney's divorce from Anna Marie Tendler, Rock joked that Mulaney should hire not his own attorney, but the person who represented his former spouse. This is how much money I lost in my divorce. I recommended my ex-wife's divorce lawyer. Rock even went so far to joke that he could barely afford tickets to Fallon's show on the night of his appearance. Shortly after the couple's divorce was finalized, Chris Rock started dating actor Magdalena Chickenwaki. The two were initially linked in 2016, with a source telling Page Six at the time, "...they've been having sleepovers at his house in New Jersey. She seems really comfortable with him at home, and they're very affectionate with each other." A Chickenwaki gushed about Rock to people in 2016, telling the outlet, "...he's a comedian. He's funny. He's really wonderful. He's a very dreamy guy, and I'm a lucky girl." The two remained together for four years before ultimately splitting in 2020, allegedly due to the fact that Rock did not want another serious relationship after his divorce. Rock was also linked to British actor Carmen Ijogo, known for her roles in Selma and True Detective, in September 2020. The two were spotted having dinner together in NYC, according to the Daily Mail. One month later, in October 2020, Rock and Ijogo were seen out together again, but this time in Malibu. However, neither one has confirmed or denied a romantic relationship. Malak Compton Rock has also found new love and appears to be dating a man named Eric. The Styleworks founder lovingly shared pictures of her boyfriend on Instagram, wishing him a happy birthday in January 20. 2021, writing in part, "...sweet, kind, loving, romantic, adventurous, fun-loving, inquisitive, giving, spiritual." At the time of the post, Compton alluded that they had been together for at least two and a half years. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs and scandals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!